It's Five Minute Mini Tales, and this is The Missing Daffodils. One spring day, Daisy Duck went to her friend Minnie's house to help in the garden. But when the two got outside, they found a big surprise. My daffodils, Minnie shrieked. They're gone. I don't understand. They were here yesterday. This is terrible, Daisy said. It must be a flower prowler. Minnie and Daisy searched the garden for clues. What's this? Daisy asked. She pulled a few strands of fuzzy white hair off a bush near the daffodil patch. Maybe the flower prowler left it, Minnie said. Maybe, Daisy said, or it could be some of Figaro's hair. A moment later, Minnie's doorbell rang. Mickey Mouse was standing on the porch with a big bunch of daffodils. Tied around them was a fluffy white ribbon. Oh, Mickey, Minnie cried. How could you? You cut down my daffodils. Mickey looked confused. What do you mean, Minnie? He asked. I bought these at the flower shop because I know you love daffodils. Really? Minnie said, putting the flowers in a vase. She was glad that Mickey wasn't the flower prowler. Minnie, Daisy, and Mickey decided to look around town for the flower prowler. They headed to the park and found Goofy. He was wearing a big daffodil on his vest. And he was playing with a yo-yo that had a fuzzy white string. Hiya, Minnie, Goofy called. Do you like my flower? Mr. Power is having a sale on daffodils today. Hmm, said Minnie. That's quite a coincidence. Maybe we'd better check out the flower shop. Daisy said. The four friends went to Power's Flowers and peeked through the window. That's Mr. Power, Mickey said. Minnie saw that the shopkeeper had a sharp pair of scissors and a fuzzy white mustache. And his shop was full of daffodils. He did it, she cried. I know it. Minnie and her friends burst into the shop. Where did you get those daffodils? Minnie asked. From a farmer named Mrs. Pote, Mr. Power answered. She delivers daffodils here every day. But today, she brought dozens of extras. Mr. Power pointed the way to Mrs. Pote's farm. You can't miss her, he said. She has fuzzy white Hair. Mrs. Pote's farm was called Pote's Goats. Yes, I delivered extra daffodils today, Mrs. Pote told Minnie. My favorite goat, Flower, usually eats a lot of them as soon as they bloom, but she must not have been very hungry today. That gave Minnie an idea. May I see Flower? She asked. Of course, dear, Mrs. Pote said. She led the friends to a pen, but there was no goat inside. Oh, my, Mrs. Pote cried. She must have escaped. Where could she have gone? Look, there's a hole in the fence, Mickey said, pointing. Now what do we do? Daisy exclaimed. Not only are Minnie's daffodils gone, but so is Mrs. Pope's goat. Hmm, said Minnie deep in thought. 
Maybe these two mysteries are connected. What do you mean, Minnie? Daisy asked. I have an idea who the flower prowler might be, Minnie exclaimed. It's someone who really likes daffodils. Someone who likes them even more than we do. Daisy held up the fuzzy strands of hair. Don't forget this, she reminded Minnie. Isn't this a clue? It sure is, Minnie agreed. And so is this. She pointed toward a trail of footprints. Follow me. Minnie and the others followed the footprints straight to Daisy's yard. There was flowers, happily munching away on Daisy's flowers. See, Minnie said, I knew it. There's our flower prowler. Now, if we could only train her to like weeds 